Speaker. I call the Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Oh, I think that member would make an excellent Deputy Leader of New Zealand First, so uh, yeah. well spoken. Uh, look, my pleasure to speak on this uh, bill, uh, a very, um, uh, very short uh, piece of uh, contribution from uh, the member, Jan um, Tanetti. Uh, apparently she told the Bay of Plenty Times uh, that this bill will start, a return, start to return mana to the teaching profession, and I I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. It's a fairly uh, low base from which to start uh, this bill, but it's better than, uh, it's better than nothing. Uh, uh, and when we look at this, I I'm sure all the teachers in this country will be uh, immensely um, reassured and feel uh, strengthened by changing uh, resilience, determination, confidence and creative thinking into resilience, determination, confidence, creative and critical thinking and to become lifelong learners. And it's that addition, uh, I think, which uh, really sort of makes all the difference. And um, I, don't like, I don't like to be unkind, but I think you'll find that this is not a great contribution, but uh, one way in which to fill the ballot. And it's a pity, because uh, there's so much that could be done. And uh, when, we, when uh, I found it was, I, I thought it was rather rich uh, that we heard uh, that there's going to be a lot of work put into the consultation uh, with the sector uh, before these changes, uh, subtle changes that are made to uh, the objectives of the uh, education system, uh, education and learning priorities, these little tweaks that have been made uh, probably late at night over, um, over a discussion with a few people uh, just to throw together this bill. Uh, and there's going to be great consultation with the sector. Well, it's interesting today because we're... we're We've had the release. We've had the re we've had the release today. We've had the release today of the of the great sort of cradle to the grave review of uh, the education more generally by the minister Chris Hipkins, uh, and uh, the talk of consultation with the sector. And when I asked him today uh, in relation to whether he'd consulted with the tertiary sector about uh, the decision to spend. Uh, the entire $2.8 billion on uh, student support and nothing else, uh, whether there had been any consultation. And he said, well, yes, there was an election, uh, as if that was consultation. So you go to the election, uh, you go to the people with uh, 20 policies, 30 policies, including this one, and if you happen to uh, find yourself in government uh, after various permutations, uh, then that uh, absolves you of the need to consult with the sector that is affected by um, very monumental changes. That is a very strange way to go about government and a very strange way to go about consultation. So my advice to uh, uh, the member, Jan Tanetti, is maybe she might have a, a, a bit of a chat to some of her senior colleagues and encourage them to, uh, to uh, do what they say and be genuine about consulting with the broader education sector about uh, very significant changes such as we've seen in the way that they have decided to spend uh, their money in the tertiary sector, as one example, and that may be uh, that may be helpful. So, if we just go through some of these differences, I'm, I'm sure people uh, listening in will be curious as to w what is being achieved or, or, or suggested uh, to achieve. Uh, um, and that was a very good bill. <laughs> and that actually, that actually, that was a quality bill that made a big difference. This one, this one. Yeah, here we are. Here we are, we're changing good social skills and the ability to form good relationships into strong social skills uh, and the ability to form not good relationships but positive relationships. So that's, a, you know, I mean, I think that's, a, you know, it's an interesting debatable point, but I, I'm not quite sure. So and then we're also changing participation in community life into active participation <laughs> in community life. Uh, well, again, that's, a, that's, that's really interesting. Uh, and as well as that, we're, we're talking about contributing to building a strong and just New Zealand, socially, culturally, economically and environmentally. So, very useful indeed. And then, uh, as well as, uh, instead of just preparedness for work, uh, we uh, have this very long-winded uh, prelude saying, uh, promoting the development of knowledge, values and skills to enable students to succeed in further education and live full, satisfying lives, both personally and in the world of work. So uh, I, I, just, I just struggle to, 
see what is being achieved by this bill, and on, on that basis, uh, it is with heavy hearts that we on this side of the chamber uh, will vote against it because we don't think this. I apologise to the member, your time has expired.